In this particular project, we were partnering with Pine Melon, uh, which is an online grocery delivery service based in Denver, Colorado. My name is Brady Nalik. I'm a research analyst focusing on the quantitative side. Uh, and for the Pine Melon project, I worked on developing their market landscape report. My name is Michaela Shoemaker, and on this project, I was the lead qualitative researcher. We, we learned um, a couple of key things. So one was the exact kinds of people that Pine Melon appealed to, um, who, who they thought they were appealing to wasn't necessarily who they actually were appealing to. And so it's really interesting to see um, how, how their marketing strategy uh, needed to change uh, as a result of the data that we were seeing. One of the most interesting insights that came out of this was just seeing the, uh, the way that customers emotionally feel about food and grocery shopping. I would expect to see a lot of emphasis on locality, um, a lot of emphasis on high quality produce, on like uh, connecting uh, the, the farmers in the area to the individuals. So I'm expecting them to lean heavily into the sustainability message. I'm expecting them to also lean into the, the convenience. So uh, yeah, sustainability and, and convenience. Okay, so we're gonna press play. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. So we're going to watch the video. Okay. Jacqueline, Jake, and little Jasmine, born in Denver, raised in Denver, moved to Denver in November from the city of Orlando, and you, you live here. What I think they did really well and what they captured really well here is the desire to kind of break from the norm and get closer to, to nature. And so it's kind of speaking to that sustainability message a little bit. Um, to breathe, to grow a tree, to go to the most unusual places, to leave the traces in the ritual spaces, to vibe with the most authentic spirits, to ride the most inspirational lyrics, to root for the ones with no rules, to root for the ones who sweat in old school. Yeah, I mean, the other thing that, that's kind of popping out is like just kind of how unique Denver is in terms of its population, right? It's, it's a population that is that really emphasizes healthy living that, you know, you're up in the mountains, you're like you're hiking every day. And part of that is is being able to eat healthy. So obviously Pine Melon is really trying to tap into that. Respecting the makers comes back in reversal, thriving and growing together full circle proudly call ourselves Denverites, being vocal. Yes, you're part of the fam. You act like you're local. Yeah, I love, I, I love that. I <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it's great. It's, it, it talks about how it's like, it's all about the local Denver market. It's all about those like 200, you know, local, local vendors, those, those bakers, those farmers, uh, everyone who's who's in Denver, who knows the, the space really well, and serving a population that reflects the same. You know? So it's great, I love it. So I, I think it does a good job of inviting the uh, inviting customers or inviting you know people in Denver to sort of join them in this in this movement. I think there's like uh, there's definitely some little little pieces there uh, findings that we we got out of our out of our workshop uh, that we did with them and out of the market landscape report uh, specifically uh, that that directly influenced kind of the stuff that we saw there. I'm incredibly proud to be part of this project. This was probably my favorite project of 2023, to be quite honest. Um, it was just really wonderful that the, the team that we worked with was absolutely delightful. It was great getting a chance to learn uh, from, the, from the people of Denver, from our participants. They you know, were a really inspiring, it, it was a really inspiring study to be a part of. <laughs>